Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I got a little experiment going and um, we have a, this is the drive motor. So we're taking the energy from this motor, um, going into the capacitor and then running this motor. So um, on the last video I had some questions about the generator mode circuit versus the classic SG circuit. And um, I've shown this before, but here's the basic diagram. Um, it just puts in a little bit different um, way there so maybe this will help those of you that are curious about it um, so on this circuit I have it built in so you have uh, when it's on SG like right now you just have the simple uh, one which is this top one and then when you switch it over you're actually using both diodes now so one out and one back into the negative on the generator mode and SG is just one single diode coming out and then the negative goes over to the positive of the primary battery. So yeah, this is just simple little Bedini circuit with generator mode switch. Uh, I got the pot kind of dialed in. Uh, this is uh, just a basic little window motor. Got a neo magnet in the middle, and um, I think this is um, 20 gauge and 26 gauge, and they're wired in series for it. So as this is pulsing on and off. Um, the output's coming out through these yellow and white lines, and we're going to be charging this capacitor. And um, that's what that is. So right now, we're sitting at 1.7 volts, so we we'll be able to monitor that. And then the capacitor comes over here to this motor, my Bedini motor, but I have it set up um, with just a basic hull um, circuit with a MOSFET. So there's no speed control. This is just a real simple, um, real nice, easy one. So it's going to be set up in repulsion mode. So pretend it fires, it's going to push the magnets away. So we got these eight magnets here, and then my typical 16-inch fan blade, and um, and then the output from this one. Because every time these magnets go by, it's pulsating. So we'll get eight pulses per revolution, and then the diode on here collects that. We go into this cap dump. So this will be triggering right around 16 and a half to 17 volts and then dumping into this battery to charge this battery. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off in SG mode. So the motor is going to go quite quick. So let's get this kicked over. So this is SG mode and you can see the capacitor is kind of sitting there because this is on. So we'll just get that. There we go. And we'll turn this one. So running about 10 volts um, out of our 12 volt battery right now. So and this is just starting to fire. About one amp every pulse. And um, look at this set. So this is the scope shot of the window motor itself. So now we're running about 11 volts. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to switch over the generator mode, and you're going to hear quite a bit different. So, so now we're in generator mode, and the voltage is really climbing up in the cap now. And you can hear this as the tone changes, as the voltage gains up into the capacitor. It's going to go through a couple little steps there. And uh, now this motor is running really nice, real fast. And uh, here's our output. So yeah, we're using just a little over, a little over six watts, and this output is running all of this. So pretty cool. So it's still kind of creeping up for almost to 19 volts, even though this motor is pulling the power out of it. So. So we're on generator mode right here. So yeah, pretty cool little experiment. Uh, it's amazing how much energy comes off these little window motors. I have to drive this whole fan and charge another battery. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. And don't forget to check out my store. I have all these circuits available.